Lantana was brought as an ornamental shrub by mm-hmm. the British uh, from South America, South and Central America, via Europe. It came to India. It was first planted in the gardens of Calcutta. It's a great ornamental shrub if you think about it. Uh, it's toxic, so cows and goats and all that don't eat it. Which when you plant it as a hedgerow, it's really hardy. It doesn't need water. If you do water it, it flowers nicely all through the year. So it's a perfect kind of plant for a garden. They first planted it there in 1809. The first record of it in South India was 1829 in Uti okay. uh, around the stone house so it's evident that somebody brought it from there and planted it as a ornamental plant in Uti uh, and by the 1900s it was a huge problem across the country it's allelopathic which means it puts out chemicals that suppress the growth of other plants mm-hmm. it's toxic so no native herbivores can eat it and it just starts taking over more and more mm-hmm. if you cut it it coppices and grows six times faster than the mother plant so there's mm-hmm. one stem you cut it Uh, it grows six times faster, and there's multiple stems. It makes a very thick, impenetrable kind of thicket. Mm-hmm. And there's a huge seed bank in the ground. So even if you uproot it, the seeds all start germinating. So it is really bad. Um, it's the top invasive plant in the world now. Only the black rat, as a species, is more invasive, more spread okay. out than lantana. Displaces all of the native vegetation. So animals have nothing much to eat, and they are kind of pushed out of forests more. Uh, about 40% of forests in South India are taken over by dense lantana. Only about 10% is free of lantana. 